sides of two similar triangles are in the ratio of 4 is to 9. So areas of these triangles is see when they'll use sides to find the areas just square the sides ratio you will get the answer. So answer is 16 is to 81 but I'll explain according to the area theorem. Now take two triangles A B C and P Q R. If the triangles are similar okay then area theorem is the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles ratio of the areas of two similar triangles so there is ABC PQR is the ratio of the areas of two similar triangles is the ratio of the the ratio of the squares of their corresponding sides so AB by PQ whole square or you can write BC by QR corresponding sides or you can write AC by PR this is area serum the ratios of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the ratios of the squares of their corresponding sides now they are asking area sides you can take 4x 9x corresponding 4x 9x whole square x and x cancel 4 square is 16 9 square is 81 so 16 is to 81 this is the correct option correct option is C see whenever they will give sides sides altitudes angle bisectors sides altitudes angle bisectors perimeter and medians this all will be in the same ratio sides altitudes angle bisector perimeter and medians all will be in the same ratio if they'll give any one of these and if they'll ask area just square those values like here sides are 4 is to 9 to get area square 4 square 9 square 16 is to 9 if they'll give area and if they'll ask side apply root so here sides are 4 is to 9 area I squared it like 4 square by 9 square 16 by 81 correct option is C in the figure if DE is parallel to BC then the value of X now see here if DE is parallel to BC okay then I'll apply BPT in a triangle a line drawn parallel to one side will divide the other two sides in the same ratio so AD by DB equals AE by EC now reason is BPT basic proportionality theorem or Thales theorem AD is X DB is X minus 2 AE is X plus 2 EC is X minus 1 if you will cross multiply X into X minus 1 X plus 2 into X minus 2 so if you will multiply X into X X square X into minus 1 is minus X here you can apply A plus B into A minus B so A square minus B square X square and X square will get cancel minus X equals minus 4 minus minus cancel X equals therefore the value of x is 4 so the correct option is B in the given figure angle BAC is 90 so this angle is 90 and AD is perpendicular to BC so AD square see in a right angle triangle at right angle again if you draw perpendicular like AD is perpendicular to BC then AD is called mean proportion so AD square equals BD into DC AD square equals BD into CD so the correct option is C but like I'll explain the problem now see like how will true the Pythagoras theorem in the same way take the big triangle BAC let take two times like BAC total three right angle triangles are there BAC one is BDA okay the other one is like ADC so this triangle big triangle small triangle big triangle and this small triangle I will prove for similar okay. so in big triangle and this small triangle angle B is common and I took 90 in the middle B A C so in the small triangle also 90 you take in the middle B D and A because here angle B is common and angle B A C equals B D A which is 
90 degrees and this is common angle Okay, now triangle BAC is similar to triangle BDA. Angle angle corollary. Next, second case BAC, same you take and now take this triangle, this ADC here. See, angle C is common in BAC and this triangle, angle C is common and angle C I wrote at the end. So here also angle C you write at the end. 90 should come in the middle. So C is at the end. 90 should be in the middle. So triangle will become ADC. <coughs> here angle C is common angle. Angle B A C equals ADC 90 degrees. Triangle B A C is similar to triangle ADC angle angle corollary okay so this is the equation one this is equation two from one and two you can say that BDA BAC is common see BAC is common so triangle BDA is similar to triangle ADC. This is the third case. Now see here you need like options are BC square and AD square. See BC in these two triangles you don't have the side BC. So you will not get BC square. In this you have BC but here BC is not there. So here also see you have you don't have BC in any of these triangles. So these two options are not possible. Now AD in this you have AD but here you don't have. So if you take sides proportional you will not get AD square. Here you have AD but in this you don't have AD so you will not get. Now see here you have AD and here also you have AD. Now if you write the sides proportional you will get the correct answer. Now see BD by AD. DA by DC BA by AC now if I will equate this to BD otherwise you take this to AD into AD AD square BD into DC so AD into AD AD square BD into DC so the correct option is C so in this way you have to do big triangle, small triangle, big triangle, small triangle. So from these two cases you will get small and small. So in this way you have to solve this problem. See they may ask in this C you will get AB square. AB square equals you will get because AB is common. In this you will get A and C. If you will write the sides proportional and if you will take any two pair in that. So that you will get AC square. Here you will get AB square. In this AD was common so AD square you will get in this one. So in this way you have to solve this one.